In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make one of the Joy insert cards, foiling it instead of cutting using the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill. And so let's begin. Okay, to set the depth of the foil quill, I've put a piece of washi tape, comparing it with one of the Joy pens. So this ridge right here at the Joy pen is the top of the washi tape that I've put on my foil quill so that the foil quill is going to hang down the very tip of the foil quill is going to hang down just a little bit further than the pen will and so I'm going to plug in my foil quill to my USB power bank and I will put aside my foil quill to heat for about five to ten minutes. Okay, and to foil, I've cut a piece of uh, the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill foil. This is the rose color. Okay, I've got my card base here, which is made out of some Paper Studio heavyweight cardstock. This happens to be from the pink color set. And I've made an A2 size card. And I've cut some of my foil here that is just a little bit smaller than the face of the card. You don't want it bigger because you don't want to get foil onto your mat. I'll take off the protective cover. And I am going to put this right up in the corner here. Then I'm going to put my foil on top, being careful that it doesn't overlap and touch the mat. Then I'm going to use some of the washi tape that came with my foil quill. Okay, and I've used the washi tape to full, pull the paper taut. Okay, I've got my Cricut Design Space open on my PC, and we're going to do this Cheer Up card. This is one of the cards that's available if you are a monthly subscriber to their Access program. So I'll just click on this, and then I will click Make It. Now, even though we are not going to be using the card mat, I'm still going to tell the joy that we are using the card mat. And that will help in the positioning. Click on Continue. And it's connecting to my joy. And I'm going to just select Insert Cardstock. For the pressure, I'm going to use Less. And now I will go load my mat. Okay, I'm going to start by loading my heated foil quill. And this time I'm going to put it in so that I see just a little bit of the top of the tape. Since I've got a double layer of cardstock, so just the top of the tape is poking up at the top there. And I am going to load my mat. And now that the mat is loaded, I will just click go. Okay, now it's complete, and so I will just click Unload. Okay, it's finished. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my heated foil quill. And I am just going to lift off without unloading my mat. See how it did? And it did fairly good, but what I'm going to do...
is I am going to reload my foil quill And I'm going to try again. And I'm going to go over it a second time. Okay, the second round is done, so I'm going to remove my heated foil quill. I'm going to come over to my iPad and select Unload. And then carefully remove the tape. And the reveal of the foiled result. So we'll take this off, and here you go. It's not too bad. I wish there was a way to edit so that we could leave off these corner things, but... Uh, and here is the final result of foiling instead of cutting one of the Joy insert cards. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! And now for a bonus feature, I'm going to show you how you can foil the waste foil onto a sheet of cardstock using the Gemini foil press. And so I've got this plugged in I'm going to set the temperature to medium and I'm going to set the time to one minute and five seconds. Now I'm going to use the metal shim that comes with the foil press and so I'm going to put that right down on top so that this whole thing is going to be heating up. And for the shims, I'm going to use a piece of typing paper. And then I'm going to use four sheets of a heavyweight cardstock. And then the top plate that comes with the foil press. So I'm going to wait for this to beep to tell me that it's ready and we'll be back. Okay, this just beeped telling me it's ready. The light is green next to the temperature light. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foil down, the good side down, right onto this metal plate. Then I'm going to put my cardstock right on top of it. I'm going to use, put my cardstock shims on top of that and then the metal plate at the very top. And I'm going to press the start button. Okay, it's finished. So I'm going to gently pull it out. And you want to make sure that this plate does not come over the lip here. So I'll just kind of hold it down at the ends. And I'm going to send it through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. Okay, now I'm going to remove the plate. 
and my shims and I'm going to let this cool off a bit before I try and peel it and then I'll just kind of grab it at one of the corners and then just slowly peel it off And here is the foiled waste. And then you can just put this on another card. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.